health is not merely the absence of a particular symptom. That's kind of common sense, and I certainly have said that before. Physical health, physical health is not merely your um, attention to fixing what hurts. And true health, holistic health, holistic meaning your in entire system requires more than just fixing your physical body. I want to give you a personal example. I have been trying to get off blood pressure pills by simply stop taking them. <laughs> I've, I've tried with diet and exercise, um, but I have not really done the work to get the support and, and to do it the right way. Uh, and I am going to actively do that now. But what came to me in like a huge thunderclap today and, and what I'm going to issue the charge of today for you to look at is in order for me to heal my heart from working so hard, I need to do some work, emotional, deep dive work on healing my heart. I will not be able to manifest a physical healing until I deal with what's keeping my heart wounded. So there's so many examples in this. The example of the work never ends. There's the example of health only exists if all of the systems that, that you are made of are healthy. And our humanity is that we are always growing and hopefully expanding. Because if you're, you're either regenerating or you're degenerating. And no matter how hard I work out, my heart is in a state of degeneration. Why is it in a state of degeneration? So I'm going to put the physical to the side because that is one aspect. I need to supplement properly. I need to find out what the cause is. I so yeah, there's, there's obviously some work, some um, work to do there that I need pr a practitioner's help for. But to supplement that and to make that work, it will not work. With doing all the supplementation and following every direction that I am given, it will not work if I don't decide to heal my heart. And I don't just mean make sure it stops pounding so hard. I mean, do the work that it takes to get my heart open to the next level. I think it has to do with control. I think it has to do with trust. And I think it has to do with self-love and not uh, self-love uh, through achievement. I think I've come a long way in that way, you know, loving me for being, not doing. But I think there's a certain amount of conditions attached to my self-love. So until I'm able to heal that further, are we ever fully healed? No. Can we get to deeper levels? Yes. Can I get to a level where it starts to make the change so that my physical heart can heal even faster in a deeper way? Yes. I can get there. I can get there. I get there through work, through looking at things that obviously I don't want to look at because I would have done them by now. So that is my kind of, that's going to be kind of my next path is, is looking at what's hurting in my heart. So if you've got a physical issue, um, you have uh, indigestion, you know, your reflux, or you have um, a bad back, you know, like your back always aches at the end of the day. Your back is the frame of your body. What are you holding or what are you not allowing or paying attention to or being honest about that? is allowing this physical, that is not allowing, but inviting this physical manifestation to exist. Again, I'm not saying that you're completely making yourself sick. What I'm saying is if you do not take into your account as you attempt to fix this physical problem, I'm assuming that you want better health, right? If you want to just lie where you are, okay, that, that's okay too. <laughs> but if you, if you want to rid yourself of that bad back, if you want to rid yourself of that acid reflux, for example, you're also going to have to invoke the rest of who you are. 
to really make the change. So today, I, I this is something I completely espouse. And today, I got this beautiful gift of, well, honey, if you want to make these changes, you're going to have to look at the organ that's affected. What's affected? My heart. How is it affected? I don't even know yet. I have an idea. So invite it all out. And, and I'm not telling you that it's easy. I know that opening this door is, is a door that I have. It's where that if you've done some personal work, it's where you go where you're like, I'm good with that. I healed that. I did that. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Because if you're not aware that there's further healing to do, you're already working from your ego. And I talk all the time, like move from your head to your heart, right? That's where your wisdom is. Well, my heart is impaired. My heart is hurting. So I can't even hear all the wisdom that's in there. <sighs> a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. It's, it's beautiful. It's terrifying. And I invite you to the party. And if you're in the party, if you're alongside me, I so honor it. I honor it. Because most won't even entertain the struggle they'll take an Advil, they'll, you know, they'll, they'll suppress, um, they'll just not think about what's hurting to really heal. Not all, but I will offer you this too. To really heal is a real effort. It is a lifelong effort, but it also brings you incredible freedom and gifts. And it is worth every trip to the pit, every effort that you take, it is worth it. And I will see you tomorrow.